Welcome back, everybody, to another All Things Nerd video. As always, my name is Nathan. Tonight, I'm joined here with Caleb. What's going on, buddy? Hey, what's going on, man? So, uh, guys, first of all, we just want to start out by saying thank you from the bottom of our hearts that, uh, holy crap, <laughs> we've reached over 500 subscribers on the channel. Um, currently, we're sitting at 506, and Damn. that's just, I mean, it's phenomenal. Like... It's just amazing to me um, personally, and I, I couldn't be more happy, more grateful to you guys. Uh, you guys are awesome. Uh, you know, just thinking 506 people want to watch our videos, it just blows me out of the water. <laughs> Obviously, more people do, but it's just like amazing that people would take the time to even subscribe to a small channel like we are. Um, I just, I'm super grateful to you guys. I couldn't be more happy. Um, I don't know. What do you have to say? I just remember us talking together and kind of, I guess the way that the numbers were going, which everything was going decently. And I'm always happy with whatever numbers we even get. Like, it's just, even if it was 20 views when I'm like, that's awesome that 20 people would even check it out. Yeah. Um, but I just remember talking to, and it was like, by our projections, it's probably going to be like October. Yes. We'll get to like 200 or something. Yes. Like that. And I think that was like a hundred away or something. Yes. And then I just remember just after like some of the scream videos when I'm um, looking at it and it was like, holy crap, we're already almost at 300. And then it was like, we're hitting 400. Yeah. And then all of a sudden, I think that was this morning then we hit 500. And like I said, my original predictions was, I was like, oh, we'll probably, we want to try to get to 1000. I was like, oh, we'll probably get to like 500. Then we'll just set our goals a little lower, a little more reasonable. It's only March yeah <laughs> <laughs> i'm like it's only march and it's already at like 500 like we increased by like 300 subs already yeah i just i just think it's awesome like like you were saying too it's it's just cool just to see people let alone just check out our videos um in general but it means a lot and it's awesome to see people that do, do take the time out of their day to subscribe to the channel and even seeing a lot of the same people come back which is awesome. So yeah. that's one thing we do want to do with our channel as well, is just kind of grow a community, people that enjoy the same things. And it's cool to see that starting to become a thing and seeing familiar um, names, you know, comment sections and just seeing people uh, enjoy some of the videos that we have. Yeah, well, one thing that's been really encouraging from from you guys and um, just from, from me is just all the encouragement you guys have been showing us in the comments, like Caleb was saying is, it's just really humbling you know people are saying like ignore the haters do your yeah. thing you know and people say like i watch your channel exclusively just for like horror movie updates and for scream news it's like that's really cool <laughs> like you would just take your time yeah. to just watch our videos and just talk about whatever you know scream right. or video games or whatever and you follow us to do that that's just like really humbling and um, I know you guys were encouraging me a couple of videos back where you're like, don't listen to people, you know, just do your thing. You know, we love you. And, you know, and that's like anything in life, right? You're going to have people mm -hmm. who are not going to like you. You're going to have people that are going to like you. And I think that's just right. one thing that I need to grow out of personally mm -hmm. is just ignore the haters <laughs> and keep moving forward. <laughs> yeah. Ignore the yeah. internet. <laughs> I mean, the um, cool thing for me too was, um, Cause that's why, that's why I had to take a look back at it, at it as well to watch the video. Cause I was around, I was in Florida. And so that's what I kept getting was all those notifications, people being very supportive. Yeah. And it, you know, it's one thing to have people just in general support you, you know, whether that's friends, you know, family or whatnot, but it's a completely different feeling and comes from a different um, place. I feel when it's people that are strangers around the world, random, <laughs> strangers from around the world, yeah, completely random people that just stumble upon him. And take the time out of their day to say those kind of things and like the only person i remember before ever saying that they had watched their videos was i i think it was one of um one of uh i can't remember who it was but it was one of part of alex's family mm. i can't remember who it was but they were like oh i watch your videos all the time that, that was a long time ago you know like several years ago when we yeah. first started it the channel and, that, and, that's, and that's an awesome thing. Like I loved how they would watch it like every week or whenever it was we came out with a video. They'd be watching them. But it feels, it's a completely different feeling. And I'm not the kind of person that gets like emotional like ever, like very easily. But even then, like just seeing that, like that was something that made me very happy. Um, 
uplifted me, made my day a lot better, and just left me kind of with a smile throughout the day was just seeing, and it wasn't just two to three comments, it was like a dozen comments of people saying that. So that was something that was just really nice to see. Yeah, and one thing I wanted to talk about really real quick is kind of the future of the channel because, uh, you know, we, we've we noticed some s statistics, if I could say that correctly. Um, I hate that word. I do too, because like- We've seen some stats. Yeah, we've seen some <laughs> this, some ticks, statistics. <laughs> and it's like, you're trying to always pronounce it. <laughs> and, um, I just wanted to mention that. So one thing we've noticed is you guys love the screen videos, which I agree. I love screen. <laughs> uh, I enjoy making them. I love doing them. I love talking about screen. Uh, I know you guys are just as big as nerds as I am about the, ch uh, about the movies. So that's really cool. Um, I know I want to start diving more back into gameplay videos. So that would be fun for the future. Um, one thing I really want to be known for, especially for our channel is the giveaways. I think giveaways are fun. I think they're exciting. Um, I think it's just awesome to like be like, hey, there's this cool movie coming out that we're all excited for. Let's give away a couple movie tickets. Uh, the Scream mm -hmm. 6 movie give uh, tickets giveaway went really well. Uh, congratulations again to T from the UK. Uh, we reached out to him. He, he won his tickets and I've actually been talking with him on Instagram and we've been chatting. So it's just cool to meet new people through that way as well. And those who actually watch the channel and all that, like it's just it's just really cool that way. Mm -hmm. um, I know. Blessing. Yeah, and like right now we have the giveaway going on for the Scream 6 popcorn tub. I'm excited to announce the winner on Sunday, so that's going to be fun. Um, I know coming up the Super I Mario movie. having one. Really? <laughs> <laughs> you going to go put scratch, I, hashtag Scream 6? <laughs> oh, that's funny. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I saw your, your post on there. I was like, oh, it's cool. They have the little tub thing. But I didn't even like see that it was even the giveaway, so that's... It's wild. Yeah, it's I wild. have to enter that myself. <laughs> <laughs> On Sunday, Caleb wins the giveaway. Yeah. <laughs> I am the Hay King. Yeah, I'm the Hay King, like Dwight. <laughs> yeah. Um, I know we also have the Super Mario movie coming out, coming up pretty soon in April. I'm excited for that. I know gamers from around the world are going to be watching that. You know, that's probably going to bring a lot of nostalgia back. Um, I'm excited to go watch that. I would love to do a giveaway ticket for that. So just things like that. Um, I know horror content we were talking about, we really want to focus on for the channel. Um, you know, we know we're all things nerd, but that's kind of why we kept it that name just because, well, we're all, we're all things, right? We can talk about anything. Um, and that really helps us out, but I don't know anything you want to mention for the future of the channel. Um, I mean, I would just say, because obviously like, I like just being able to create what i enjoy yeah i don't know you're the same way you know just kind of like sitting on your computer you're playing a game or something um or on the record you know, button <laughs> you, yeah i mean you want to do what you want what you're interested in yeah and to showcase that um but i think it, it is great it would be nice to be able to hear from you guys as well what you guys are more interested in would like to see yeah um i know the scream stuff does well pretty well on the channel yeah because i know a lot of people are just very excited for it but it just seems to be a very popular topic on youtube from what i've seen um and that's just comparing content that we have done on the channel comparing that to scream and i know some other things small channel you know a lot of things aren't going to do super well um yeah but just mainly hearing from you guys you know if there's you know if you guys come here to the channel you know i would want people to be engage in the channel and be able to enjoy most of what we come out with. Um, but I think it'd be nice to be able to hear from you guys. You know, what would you, are you guys more interested in would like to see? Um, so no, we like horror stuff too. Um, and that's something that we've kind of been talking about is, you know, do we just focus it on just scream? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or just horror, you know? Yeah. And we, we do want to do other things too, but um, I guess at least myself, it's kind of like, I'm the kind of person where I hate to waste time. Um, so I, I do want to do things that you guys would enjoy. So, I mean, yeah. I would say, you know, just let us know, you know, if there's anything that you guys will like for us to cover and talk about, you know, that could be anything. Um, but especially, you know, if it's, if you're more of your realm, maybe it might be horror and there's things, maybe movies we haven't seen, you know, if you want to just comment, you know, let us know if there's a movie that you guys are interested in, maybe would like to talk about or not. Yeah. Maybe you could do that sort of thing. Um, I just think having some sort of feedback would help us out just to kind of figure out because we're still in the stages of trying to figure out what we want to do with the channel itself. Like I said, we, we enjoy a lot of different things, 
Um, but I know for some people it might be a little confusing of, you know, Scream. And then maybe, and then all of a sudden it's like, you know, we could talk about some other horror movie. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's like, you know, um, Mario. Yeah, you know, which, yeah, Mario. You know, things, you know, things we enjoy, but it's yeah. like, I know for some people that do stumble on Paul's channel, at least, I guess basically what I'm asking is just more of a critique on what we're doing. Mm -hmm. You know, if it's confusing to you guys, um, having just kind of all sorts of stuff, um, I don't know. Throw out some ideas. Yeah, <laughs> I, give us give us critiques. You know, maybe what you guys think, what you, what you guys enjoy. Just I know you I just watched. What was that new horror movie you just watched the other night? Um, that was really I was weird. A hard time trying to figure out how to even pronounce it. <laughs> uh, Skin Marink. Skin Marink. Okay. It's an it's an interesting movie. It's like <laughs> to me, it felt like one of those very analog type horror films where it feels like it's filmed like on an analog camera. Um, not a huge clear direction yeah. on what's happening. It's an independent film. I would say if you like analog horror films, um, you like independent films, just things that are very out of the box compared to horror. Like it's not a very linear story, like how, you know, like the Conjuring movies or like Scream, any sort of thing where it's beginning to end. You have all these mysteries in, in between. It's kind of like, kind of just watch it. There's a lot of empty space. Um, I would say if you're going to watch it, kind of go in just thinking okay this is just a it's an experience it's nothing like anything that you've seen before um so there's not like a lot of huge storytelling in there um but if you kind of just take it as what it is and just more of an experience um i think you might enjoy it but yeah to give it a try other than that if you're looking for something that's kind of like you know scream or any typical horror movie that's linear has a huge storyline more dialogue uh you're gonna be very very bored <laughs> um speaking about scream <laughs> i always like to bring up scream <laughs> right. uh on the screen i've been looping this video as you guys can see in the background uh, there was a new footage of the movie guys tomorrow we are officially one week away from scream six and i can't believe it's like here <laughs> it just felt like yeah. a year ago they just announced the movie after five and they're like hey we're making a scream six and it's like all right now we're a week away like it's just it's amazing um and there was some some new footage that appeared from the movie and it looks very intense uh gail weathers uh courtney cox who plays gail weathers she's getting a chase scene in the movie and ghostface is chasing her down and i heard that it's um i don't know i've been hearing different things about the scene like some the rumors and leaks and stuff went online obviously don't want to talk about those because you know i don't want to spoil the movie and i don't yeah. want to spoil the movie myself but Right. I did hear some people mention that the scene is crazy and it's different and it's sad, but it's also like cool. So what I've seen of the movie so far, it looks amazing <laughs> and I can't wait to go watch it. Uh, I actually took off next Friday off work just for the movie. <laughs> so, hey. um, and hey, me too. Yeah. Yeah. You too. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm, I'm excited to go watch it with you next Friday. It's going to be awesome. What are you most excited for about uh, Scream 6 and kind of watching the trailers and different scenes and stuff that you've seen of it? Is there anything that is exciting you that it's getting closer? Uh, definitely getting more more excited. Like, I've just tried to not watch anything that has to do with Scream 6. Because, like, you've sent me, like, a couple things, which luckily, like, there's no spoilers like in anything that we have seen. Um I would just say the only thing I could take away from it is just every time I've seen clips from the movie, it looks very different in just the sense of this one definitely looks a lot creepier. Yes. It looks creepier, <laughs> has like a heavier tone, I feel like, compared to the other movies where when they, I always go back to that same line where he's like, I'm nothing like the others to me. It feels like it's that itself, that just that dialogue right there is kind of just talking about the whole movie as a whole like just the the feeling feels heavier and just more ha has more of a i don't know the other ones are, are like horror and it's slasher and they have kind of like their sort of niche kind of tone mm. with their movies this would just feel what you're saying it feels very different like i can't really explain it that well but just the tone the colors in the film like everything just feels a lot scarier and especially knowing that it takes place in new york i'm like there's so many spots, so many areas, places that you can be in there. So much things can happen. So just little things like that that I see just gets me a little more excited for it. Because I'm like, I feel like I've already seen a lot. And like we, like we mentioned before, the whole Olivia scene. I'm like, what is going to happen in this one? Yeah. <laughs> so, 
that's kind of mainly all I've been thinking about with the movie. Yeah, I, I think me too. I think just having the setting New York is different. Mm -hmm. You know, I never would have put, pictured Ghostface in the Big Apple. Yeah. <laughs> like, that's pretty cool. And then also just having that feel, like you were saying, that, you know, Ghostface could be anywhere. Like, right. the city is so big, uh, and anybody can be Ghostface. And I think one of the most things that is exciting me is having the... I think they're kind of going for like a detective, like true crime feel mm -hmm. to this one. So seeing like the shrine and all that stuff and like the cops and right. stuff like that, I feel like this is going to be a lot more brutal. They said the scene and like the gore in this movie is a lot more amped up. That's so, what I was thinking of too. Like, I think everything is going to be like, not that everything was down at like a four. Yeah. I'll say at most, like the Olivia scene, like the, some of the newer ones, I would say it's like everything was at, like an eight uh like especially with five i feel like everything was toned up to like maybe like a, a seven or an eight and this yeah. one they're just gonna break the knob and turn it up to like a 84 yeah <laughs> like, i kind of hope so like I it's kind of cool I think that's how it's gonna be yeah so that's what gets me excited for it yeah and i i know they don't want to overdo it with the gore because if you overdo it with the gore then you're basically just gonna go watch a saw movie right um yeah. you know you still need to make it scream and make it fun and right still make it you know it's not this mm. friday 13th movie where it's like jason cutting off people's heads right you know yeah. but i think that's so partially part of it though is with every movie it gets a little bit more crazier and amped up every movie that you see and i think that's kind of part of the thing is like it's not a that's so the thing with scream 2 is it's not a shock horror or like shock yeah. horror sort of film but I think by implementing a little bit of that every movie, you're just kind of like, how is this going to get topped? And then they top it the next one. Yes. And then yes. it just gets crazier and crazier. And I'm just like, I think that's the thing with this one is with it being in New York, anybody could be Ghostface. that it's like, we've already seen so many different ways that people have died. You know, how are you going to change that and make it even like, how are you going to top that? And I, I think that's yeah. what this movie is going to be. So I think it's a little necessary because that's part of the thing about slashers too, is I feel like people like they anticipate the kill scenes and mm. just kind of making them the more unique that they can make them, the cooler that people find them. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm so excited. We're only a week away, guys. Um, we got what? Um, Literally seven days tomorrow, starting tomorrow. So next Friday. Well, actually, I know the movie actually premieres early on Thursday right. for some people if they want to go see it real late. Um, I wish I was going Thursday because <laughs> I would love to go see it earlier, but I'm excited. We already got our tickets reserved for next Friday, and I know next week I'm going to be like all antsy and yep. can't you know can't focus on work because I'm going to want to yep. watch the movie. <laughs> you better keep your phone off Thursday. I know there's going to be so many spoilers and all yep. that. Uh, so I'm definitely going to do that, but, but anyways, guys, um, yeah, so we just really wanted to make this video to say thank you. Um, you know, we, we can't say thank you enough. 500 subscribers. I never thought in my life yeah. we would ever reach 500 subscribers on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Like we're, you know, obviously right now, um, our next goal is to hit a thousand, like that's where we want to get to. Um, but just having 500 is so humbling. So but that's just, you know, in a couple months, what we can do, like you said, it's only March. So I'm excited yeah. to see what these other next months have to hold. And even if we just gain a little subscribers here and there, I'm happy. Like, you know, we, we just do this as a side hobby and it's just for fun, you know? And if, if it, if it gets, if it gets big, it gets big, it doesn't, it doesn't. And we're still going to do it and have fun. Absolutely. So, yeah, you know, but, uh, anyways, guys, do you have anything else you want to say before we close? Scream six. So yeah, scream, <laughs> scream six. <laughs> We're almost there. <laughs> almost there. But all right, guys. Well, thank you again. Um, as always, my name is Nathan, and um, I uh, can't wait. We're a week away. So we'll catch you guys on the next video. Later. All right. Take care, guys. Peace.